In Holland, environmental regulations are being used as the excuse to shut down farms. And I think we can expect to see this spread throughout the West. I mean, it's, it's basically what our leftists are already talking about, blaming our farms for different emissions. And we should kind of look at places like Holland to see exactly where this goes. You see, the Dutch government is offering to buy out up to 3,000 farms that it considers to be peak polluters. Bear in mind, those farms weren't for sale. You can't just say, I'm going to buy you out and then act like you have some kind of moral high ground when those items weren't for sale. I can't go over, you know, to my neighbor and say, here's some cash for that TV if he wasn't selling the TV. That's not how it works. This is more important than a TV because these are multi-generational farms that are useful for, you know, food, for the, the country's food supply. Now, the farmers are supposed to feel good about this. Spoiler alert, they don't. They're actually protesting. But they're supposed to feel good about this because the government, in all of its charity, is offering a set of choices, you see. And therefore, it's just totally altruistic. The choices presented to these farmers are, number one, innovate to drastically reduce emissions. Now, that probably isn't even possible. Number two, transition to a new kind of business. In other words, shut down. Uh, number three, relocate. It's a farm. What, what do you relocate to? So in other words, shut down. Or the final one, voluntarily stop. So shut down. <laughs> yeah, these are, the, these are the grand options being given to these farmers. This is all to try and placate the government research re report which recommended a 30% livestock reduction by 2030. And this is something the European Union is big and behind because we're all about, you know, these emissions and the environment and apparently sacrificing people in order to appease their models in relation to the environment. But it's also an, it's an attempt here by the Dutch government to appease European law, not necessarily the country's own law, uh, which is kind of interesting. The government losing a case in 2019 over emissions and environmentalism to the European law. But here's the thing, okay, if the European law, let's say, has an impact on your citizens' food supply, ignore it. You have a moral obligation to ignore it, or better yet, just leave. Leave the European Union altogether. Because when it comes to something like, you know, food, one could argue that's kind of important. It's certainly important to your citizens. You could say that, you know, when a government starts interfering with the citizens' ability to get and produce food, there's a real problem there. And instead, the whole idea that the Dutch government would try and work with the European Union to shut down private farms in order to appease these uh, fanatics, it's baffling to me. And it's absolutely evil. But a second court ruling in November of 2022 said that Dutch building pro projects needed nitrogen permission. You heard that right. So the government itself had to stop doing building because they didn't have nitrogen permission. Now, what was the government building? They were building 900,000 what it considered desperately needed homes and also some vital infrastructure projects. Okay. That's all at a standstill. It's all on hold. No homes, no vital infrastructure projects and apparently no food. What is the government doing in such a scenario? I mean, you know, if it isn't willing to work on any of the projects that it deems to be the most important, then should it be there at all? It doesn't really seem like it. And instead, it's sort of taking a, a position most against the people and against their basic needs. And when you look at who the Dutch government is made up of, it well, it begins to get almost painful. So there's a guy who I'm just going to point to because I can't say that name. I'm not going to try. But he is the D66 Party Agriculture Spokesperson. And because of the way their government uh, works, this party, despite not being the dominant party, has a lot of influence. Consider it like they have lots of members of Congress. Okay, uh, It's not exactly the same, but it's close. It works. So he believes that the country must reduce the number of pigs and chickens 
by 50% and that cows need to be taken care of differently as well. So he's kind of attacking the food supply himself. And he said, and I quote, I'm very hopeful now because it's not only voluntary anymore, the whole economy has come to a stop because of this nitrogen question, unquote. So, in other words, this guy is bragging that the entire economy has shut down, that homes are not being built because of environmental regulations that have placed the entire country on hold. And of course you have the same time these farmers are out there and protesting because their livelihoods are being ended and the government is sort of patting itself on the back claiming that it's doing something righteous because it's buying out the farmers that weren't selling anything. That's not um, moral at all. And yet, you know, it claims so. All of this is pretty evil and I think it's the same thing that we see spreading throughout the US, throughout Canada, throughout Britain, throughout the West, is environmentalism at the sake of humanity. And it's, it's a very dark religion, and you'll start to see it in a lot of different um, paganism now that I say that. If you look into uh, various different types of paganism, you see this is earth worship, uh, Gaia worship, and so on, and you kind of see some uh, parts of that. If you don't look, I mean, you don't even have to look very deep under the surface of some of these environmental groups, and instead they want to sacrifice people, and you know, they're already pushing the whole eat the bugs, eat crickets. Uh, we've seen that a lot in our media over just the last couple of years, as our leftists over here in the United States want to stop us from eating uh, regular livestock and instead get you to eat the bugs. Don't eat the bugs, fight against these people as much as you can before we end up in the situation like the like in Holland, let's stop it before then if we can. If you liked that video enough to make it to the end of the video, which is like superhuman in terms of modern attention spans, please make sure to share this with your friends and family. I also have links in the description so you can follow me elsewhere and you can find other videos. Thanks.